Kevin, welcome back to the Betfred Super League. Are you looking forward to getting stuck in again? Yes, uh, very excited to, to come back to, to the Super League. Um, been away in Australia with, in a year f with the Sydney Roosters. So I think coming back the second time around, it's, it's good that it's not completely foreign to, to me, my wife and my daughter. Um, my wife um, was here with me the past couple of three years and my daughter was born here while I was doing my trade at St. Helens. So to come back um, in a different team, uh, just with new goals, new aspirations, uh, it's very exciting. The last time we saw you play on these shores, of course, was a, a grand final win, a Harry Sunderland Trophy win. But those fond memories must have played a part in you wanting to come back and have another go. Yeah, for sure. Uh, being in such a, a great team in, in St. Helens and to accomplish the things that we did definitely made rugby league um, have a special, play in, a special place in my heart over here. And, been at Old Trafford a few times, you know, there's nothing quite like it. And um, coming back here with a, in a new team, there's, there's goals that we want to set out to, to achieve and um, hopefully being in Old Trafford at the end of the year is one of them. You're joining a Huddersfield team that will be a, a different challenge, a team that's looking to establish itself back at the top of Super League and, and challenging for titles. Can your experience of winning things over here help? Uh, hopefully, that's what um, I, w I want to do is add value to this team and um, with the experiences that I've had, I'm hoping to, to share them with the team and, and add value in uh, um, achieving the, the goals they want to achieve and um, climbing up that ladder. And, uh, you know, with Wigan and, and St. Helens, they've always been probably the two top teams of, of the competition. And um, with our team in Huddersfield Giants, we obviously want to challenge them and, and hopefully push for, for spots um, higher up the table. Have you found working with Ian Watson and your new teammates? Yeah, really good. Uh, very early days so for myself. It's still getting to know the players and, and the, the coaching staff, but look, looking forward to, to the journey ahead. Um, it's part of why I love rugby league. You meet new people and um, there's a new challenge there um, in understanding how players work, understanding the cause. Um, I've only been in training for about two, three weeks now, so um, really looking forward to, to the weeks ahead of building those combinations and getting to know everyone. Have you adjusted to the weather again yet? You, you've not picked a good winter to come back. Yeah, uh, well, I think the week I arrived, it was minus nine degrees. So the whole three years I was living in England, it was never that low. So that was definitely a shock to the system. But um, in regards to that, like I said, it's not completely foreign to me with the weather. So uh, it hasn't been too bad. At Huddersfield last year, massive improvement, made, it, made a, a cup final, fell just short fell short in the playoffs. Can you, do you see the potential in this squad to go on further and challenge for trophies and really challenge at that top end? Yeah, for sure. Um, I wouldn't have signed if I didn't think that was a possibility. And I think with the, the players that we've signed and the, the group that they already have, um, I think there's something um, really exciting to look forward to and something that we can sort of build on from, from last year. And um, with those aspirations of like playing in grand finals and winning winning trophies, that's one of the main reasons why I signed in and, and something that I can see within the group. And reunited with one of your old St Helens teammates, Theo Farge, are you looking forward to that link up again? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, I played pretty much all my football with Theo in as my right half, so to come back to a familiar face and um, someone that I've played majority of my Super League career with definitely helps with that, that combination and, and also exciting to, to get back and partner with him again. What would you consider a successful 2023 to be for yourself in Huddersfield? Get to win. Um, you know, the, they said last year that they were really happy with what they achieved, um, but they won, at the end of the day, they didn't win any trophies. Um, and for us, and me personally, that's what I aspire to do, and that's what we aspire to achieve as a team. And that goes for all the Super League teams. I'm, I'm sure everyone trains hard and gets ready for preseason to to have a big season, but um, for us, it's definitely to win a trophy. Well, best of luck with you. Cheers, thank you. Nice.